So I had the idea that we should draw random shapes for each other and uh, we should have to turn them into drawings. And then Ferret was like, oh, you mean the shape challenge? And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And uh, this is take two, since somebody decided not to record the audio at our last recording. And we got about halfway through the video before we realized it wasn't recording the audio. <laughs> I mean, shit happens. We can't all be perfect like me. It's not your fault. I'm sorry? No, 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 no. Just remember that you love me. I don't. You do. No. Lots. So, do you want to get to it? Yeah. All right. So Ferret went first and couldn't decide what he wanted to draw. So at first I tried to draw a ghost and I was like, nah, that's dumb. So then I tried to draw a Powerpuff Girl. And it was like, wait, wait for it. Hey, hey, this, this is alright. Might be into this. What's up? No, wait. No, I hate it. Instead it looks like a misshapen gingerbread man. So I said, fuck it. Yeah, and uh... So then we got this, which I think is totally cheating. It's not cheating. It's absolutely cheating. It's not cheating. It is. Originally, we were only supposed to do one drawing a piece, but then Ferret decided to do a shit post for the first one, so then <laughs> I made him do a second one. So then I did a second one. And I made mine a shit post as well, because I was like, if Ferret can make a shit post, then I can make a shit post. Although, spoiler alert. My shit post took me nearly as long as Ferret's not shit post because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So there's that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm doing half the time either, if that makes you feel any better. Sure, you just fake it a lot better than me. Like, look at that shading. You didn't struggle with it at all. You were just like, this is where shading goes, it's fine. Whereas I'm gonna spend five hours trying to figure out how to shade this thing. Now it's going to bother me that Ditto's not smiling because you pointed that out. I'm sorry. I didn't use a reference image, so I was picturing the, like, flat Ditto mouth, and Ferret was like, Ditto smiles, and I was like, no, they don't. And I went to pull up a picture of Ditto to prove my point, and, um, Ditto, Ditto smiles. Ditto smiles. <laughs> Ditto just the cat mouth. With, like, the dot dot three. No, it doesn't. It Well, the point is, it's upturned, and my ditto mouth is decidedly not upturned. And you're probably all wondering why I didn't just fill paint this, and that's because that would have been the easy thing to do. And that didn't occur to me in my shit post to do the easy thing. So instead, I painstakingly um, painted it. <laughs> yeah. And then had to go a race where I went outside the lines, and then had to. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, oh wait, this is how you shade this. And then... I mean, you had yeah. a great idea until you did that. And I was like, what is what is happening? Well, I was trying to... Because, like, realistically, a ditto body would have, like, folds everywhere. And so I was picturing that there was, like, a wrinkle on the, the left side of its face. Our left, its right. And that that whole side of its body would be in shadow, but then I realized it didn't look right, and so I deleted it and started over, and... Yeah. I do like the circle background. I like the, the disconnect between the, the circle and then the filled-in bit. Yeah, I thought that was cool, too. Actually, it might be the only part of this drawing that I liked. I like Ditto. Well, I mean, I liked the Ditto. I just didn't oh, like the shadowing. Oh, it's Alex Death's Pride and Joy. It's my slug monster. It is not a squid. It looks nothing like a squid. It, it is definitely a, a slug monster. It doesn't look like a squid. I just, my brain's dumb. Shit happens. <laughs> but I, I kind of was, I was quite proud of my little slug monster. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. He's all pastel and cute. I wish I would have given him, like, 
reference though now I'm like is he like an ankle biter slug monster or is he like a man eater slug monster I kind of like the idea of him being like an ankle biter like this just this little like gremlin slug that that goes around your house and attacks unwanted house guests gremlin slug like like if 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 he senses that your ma- his master doesn't like you, he'll just chase after you and gnaw on your ankles until you like leave. A chihuahua. Yeah, only you know, cuter and less annoying. <laughs> oh no, we're getting into dog politics on here. I don't like chihuahuas. Okay, they're the only breed of dog I don't like. I don't like poodles. Well, I've heard that they're demons, but I don't have any direct interaction with poodles, so I don't really know that from experience. But I've never met a chihuahua okay. that I like. When I was you do kick it no I i'm sure that poor innocent dog would never dine to oh, injure yes, you i swear to you fucking can... god i think uh ferrets get a little triggered over here oh we need to keep talking so we can distract them from this horrifying shading that's about to go down i liked it i <sighs> the blending did not go as well as it could have but that's because i didn't really understand how that blender worked I had seen Farrah do it, and it looked so cool when Farrah did it, and then I tried to do it, and I was like, why isn't this working the way I want it to? You can superimpose the image on top, so you, or like off to the side or whatever, so you guys can see it. Uh, but, like, I think you did a pretty good job for a first attempt. Well, thank you. I actually, this slug is um, kind of my pride and joy of things I've drawn recently. Yeah, it's it's really oh oh god, it's my dragon. <laughs> so we've aptly named it the Picasso Dragon. Yeah, I'm sure you can imagine why when you look at it. I think it was really cool how it turned out. I liked the painterly effect that I did for it. Um, just not so much the actual construction. Look at those legs. I think those legs fit perfectly with that face. That face is very special. And again, I get great amusement out of seeing the different ways that our minds interpret things. Because when I saw the initial shape, I was thinking a grate with like the slime monster oozing out of it and climbing up the walls which is a totally different direction than what ferret actually went in um and we run into that a lot okay see what i first saw was a ghost with a battering ram like flailing its arms up okay (laughs) that's interesting I mean, hey, that's, you know, the cool thing about art, right? Is in- interpreting things in different ways. Yeah. But yeah, to, to give you guys further context, this Picasso dragon took only slightly longer than my ditto. <laughs> that's how hard I struggled with that thing. counts, right? That's how shading works, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure that's how art works. You just plop colors in places and... And call it good, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I liked the uh, fire highlights. Oh, look. I'm I'm, uh, doing a background. Shocker. I really like the sky a lot.
Yeah, so apparently there are certain brushes that when you try to use them on a large scale on Photoshop can wig out your computer, even if you have a really good one. Um, and you can't, it's hard to, you can't really see it like in the sped up version, but um, when I was watching him draw it in real time, the mouse, he would have to stop and then all the painting would happen. Because <laughs> it was having to catch up with his mouse. But yeah, so um, this was our shape challenge video. So, you know, thanks for sticking around this long, guys. Yeah, hopefully you uh, got as much of amusement out of these um, delightful shit posts as we did. And uh, I'm Amethyst. I'm Farrah. And we'll see you next time.